Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers, Legacy United, Autobot Stan Unite 5 Pack, and that is that we have Autobot Jazz, we have Sunstreaker, we have Tailbreaker, we have Wheeljack, and finally we have Hound. But we're going to be focusing on Jazz, but let's take a little bit more at this packaging, but it's a little dull, so let's get back here on the side here. So we have Jazz and we have Sunstreaker. Not much of a back here. And then we have Wheeljack and Hound. But like I said, we're going to be focusing on Jazz, so let's get Jazz out of packaging. And let's finally break the seal, and let's bring in the tools, and always cut away from yourself. There we go. And let's lay this down. All right. And now let's finally open this up. All right, here we go. Let's open this up. And let's get this all out of the way. There we go. Oh, we have instructions. Yay! And you know what we say? Ah, uh, goodbye box. And here we have the five. Anything here sneaky on the back? Nope. Oh, there we go. And so, like I said, we're going to be focusing here on Jazz. So let's get Jazz out of packaging. And here we have Jazz out of packaging. And I have to say, there is a little bit of different details on this Jazz than the previous one that we have recently gotten. But let's take a closer look here at Jazz's face because I love this head sculpt. It's awesome. I love the blue for the visor. And his mouth here is actually painted a gray instead of a silver. So there is a bit of a difference there. And I, like I said, I love the Autobot symbol that we have here. But this is painted blue. On the other copy, it's white. On the other copy, this is silver, but this is white. Bit of a difference. And we have a bit of a blue and red stripe going onto the side here and we have blue painted windows and they're not transparent plastic so very much of a difference there articulation let's see you can rotate jazz's head 360 it's also on a ball joint so you have some nice range of motion within the head itself that's really nice the arms, we can rotate 360. We can bring the arms out that far. There is a bicep swivel. And we also have a bend at the elbow. And there is really just much of a wrist articulation, but this is just due to transformation. And if we actually lift here on the back, we can actually rotate the waist 360. Let's close that back up. We can get the legs to come back about that far. And we can get the legs to come up that high. And let's see, a bend at the knee. Come on. There we go. That's as much of a bend of the knee we have. And we have a thigh swivel. And we have ankle articulation. So, yes, you can get Jazz in some really great poses. And let's not forget about Jazz's gun here. And this is the typical one that he actually comes with the other copy. But we actually have a peg. And there we can place it right in his hand. And Jazz is ready to take on any Decepticon. And he will do it with style. Not bad. I like the weapon, not bad at all, but just in case if you say for some reason you just don't want to display him with it holding it in his hands, we do have a peg back here and you can just place it right there in the back. You can do something like that, but then you have that hanging in the back or do something like that, have it up like that or any which way, have it out to the side. There's options, and that's really nice. 
to transform Jazz, let's actually start here with the arms. And we want to bring in the elbows and we just want to straighten them out and we want to fold in the hands. So make sure that the elbows are actually pointing in, straighten them out and fold in the hands. Come to the back here and we're just going to flip out these doors and flip this back piece out and we're just going to leave it as is. Now we can actually come here to the legs and we can actually come in here and snap those two pieces together. We can actually bring the feet in as we should actually bring these over. There we go. And now those can close up better. And now we can now oops, open up here there we go let's also make sure that we're rotating this middle piece there in the middle to the back the arms we want to make sure that they're going to be coming down like that and now we want to make sure that we can actually fold everything else in and let's fold this piece out there we go now we want to bring in the arms there we go. Oh, come on. No. There we go. Now let's bend here at the knee. There's like a double hinge. And this will all fold in. There we go. And now we just need to fold this up and everything else in the back here should be able to snap in and we also have tabs that will fit here onto the side and there we go that will snap in same thing here on the other side that will snap in and this back side will also snap in as well there we go there we go and there we have jazz finally transformed into his vehicle mode. I really do like the look of this. This is really nice. I, I, I'm sorry, but I actually do like the windows painted like that. That is really nice. And it's kind of a shame that it couldn't follow through, but I really also like the stripes. And I think these might be thinner than the other Jazz. But I also like these stripes here on the side as well. That is a really nice touch. That is really nice. I don't know. I feel like it's also missing something else, and I'm not entirely sure. But this is a nice-looking jazz. One of also my favorite things is this can roll really nicely. I like it. And let's not forget about his weapon. And there is, yes, weapon storage, and that is on top of the car. And you can have him riding into battle with his gun on top of his car. That's not bad. That's like twisted metal. Woohoo! To transform Jazz back into his robot mode, we're going to flip this upside down, and we want to untab the doors. And then what we can do, come to the back here, untab that as well. And then we can actually take these arms and we're just gonna take them and move them out of the way. So there we go, just bring that out of the way. All right, and now let's bring out the legs and they're just going to fold on out. Come on, there we go. And what's going to happen, we're also going to split here at the bottom. And here on the legs, there is actually a tab that is actually going to snap in into a slot inside there. So there we go. And the same thing here on the other side. That will snap in. And now we can flip out the feet. There we go. We have the legs done. And let's bring this up. There we go. And 
let's flip this part in and let's get the head to flip out there we go and now let's flip this part around there we go and let's bring this down and what we're going to do there's actually slots inside right here and there's tabs right there so what we just want to do is just line that up there we go that is lined up now we can actually fold this in that's on a hinge there we go that fold in fold in the other doors as well and we'll just bring this back there we go and let's flip these down this way come here to the arms flip out the hands rotate and bring down flip out the hands and rotate and now we have jazz fully transformed back into his robot mode my final thoughts on the autobot stan united five pack and with jazz so far he does not disappoint this is actually a really good jazz mold that we have here he's fun to transform and he has really great posability and honestly with my copy some of the joints are actually kind of tight which is nice um but it it seems like here on the knees um since it's actually kind of tight it doesn't want to snap and stay together that's the only uh, complaint I actually really have out of this. It is also nice to see some other little details that they actually added to Jazz itself. And I can also understand why people will be annoyed with not having a transparent plastic for the windows. I can understand because it kind of feels cheap to a point. It's like you're not giving us like, you know, give us the best. That's what we deserve. And we do. We deserve the best. Is it worth to pick up the Autobot Stan United 5-pack. Jazz here is really awesome, but if you already have the Studio Series Jazz, then I don't really see a necessary of picking up this set, but it is a great opportunity for people who don't have Jazz and the other figures that actually come within the pack itself that I say is worth picking up. Well, with that said, I just have to thank you all for watching. If you could just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shout worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day!